Hey guys, it's Julia and for today's video I'm going to be doing the would you rather book tag and I will leave the creator down below and the video once I find it. But um, I was tagged by As the Novel Progresses so thank you so much for tagging me Gabriel. I'll leave a link to his channel and video down below and you guys should definitely check out his channel and his videos and stuff like that because they're pretty awesome. So let's get into the questions and yeah. Oh. I should mention my background is kind of different and it's gotten more complicated like the more I've done videos. I don't mean for it to be like that but I just overcrowd my room a little so yeah I got a shelf right there because my shelf, my I usually have a headboard and that's really full so I got a new shelf and also that's like my, a painting that I did a while ago. It was like the first painting that I did in like years and years like other than when I was like a kid or whatever. But yeah that's if you're wondering so i'm sorry for the creepy eyes staring at back at you i might take that down for videos if that's kind of creeping people out but um yeah let's just get into the question the first question is would you rather read only standalones or only trilogies and for me i have to say trilogies just because you get to spend more time with the characters and the world and you get to see character development and world building in more in depth and in more books i guess and because i've read a lot of trilogies that i've absolutely loved and Standalones are great to just do one book and be done with it, but I've, I have to say trilogies definitely. Second question is read only male authors or female authors and I don't really look at like the gender of the author like I really don't mind like either I don't really care and um, I do have to say female though and that is because a lot of my favorite books have been by female authors or a lot of the authors that I read are female authors and I didn't even know that till I went back and like looked, counted them all up and everything like that and like looked over everything but it'd be hard not to read another Stephen King book again so that sucks because mm, but um that's difficult but a lot of them are by female authors so I have to say female. Question three is shop at Barnes and Noble or Amazon and we don't got no Barnes and Noble here I've been there but we don't got no Barnes and Noble in Canada. So I'm going with my chapters or indigo or whatever you want to call it and or online and I gotta go online. I love going into bookstores and like looking around and picking up books that I like see on the shelf and reading through them like I love that but um I have to say online because they're a lot cheaper and you can get them like I've gotten books online like half of what they pay in store or at least five dollars off every book that I want in store is five dollars off online so online because we got to save the cash so four is would you rather have all books turn into movies or TV shows I gotta say TV shows because you got like a lot more time well if it's a standalone I guess it would be better as a movie but if it's like a series you know what I'm saying I would rather it be a TV show so five is read five pages per day or five books per week and i definitely gotta say five books per week works i definitely gotta say five books per week because i know i am capable of doing that it's just i don't have time or i can't get into a book etc but it would be awesome to read like five books a week which yeah so i know who would pick five pages per day because that's not fun five pages per day how long that take you to finish a book oh gosh question six is being a professional would you rather be a professional viewer or a professional author and this one was kind of hard for me because like it's not like my life goal to be an author at least not in the present time like I think it'd be cool but it's not like presently my career choice I guess I'm still young ish so we'll see but um I definitely would say author though I love writing reviews and doing review videos. I like writing them better. I just find I can put my head into it more, but um, I do love reviewing things like books and stuff like that. And, um, but it would also be really cool to write your own book and like read people's like the reviews on your book and like see your cover at a bookstore with your name on it. Like that'd be so cool. So I kind of have to say author. So Next question is, would you rather be able to read your favorite 20 books or read always new ones and never be allowed to reread your favorite 20 books and personally i gotta say always read new ones because i need new content and new entertainment and i do love my favorite books but honestly i don't even reread things that often it's just because i have a pretty decent like i have a t 
I have a TBR pile and it's not huge. Well, it's kind of big, but um, I'd rather take my time re like reading new books than read old books, if you know what I mean, because there's so many books on my shelf to read and there's so many things I want to get to. And yeah, so I would go with read new ones, even though that'd be difficult. But what if I can watch the movie adaptations or the show adaptations or something like that? So whatever. Eight is would you rather be a librarian or a bookseller? And personally, bookseller. Bookseller. I love going into, like when I do go into like the actual bookstore and well, I do go in, sometimes I don't even buy anything because they're so expensive in the store, but um, I do go in and I take a look around and sometimes I've had people, like I've been looking at books and then actual like people working there will come up to me and start talking to me about them and like it's actually really fun and I'd rather like give people recommendations in the store than be a librarian. I would just like it that way better and yeah that's what I want my um teenage older teenager job to be maybe you know to work at a bookstore if you know maybe the question is well the second to last question is would you rather only read your favorite genre or read every genre but your favorite I don't really have a favorite genre I know everyone's like I don't have a favorite no, I really don't. I read a pretty good mix of like a little bit of fantasy, contemporary, um, and a bit of horror and thriller and stuff like that in there. So I couldn't really pick a favorite, so I can't really answer this question, so sorry about that. Question number 10, which is the last question, at least I think, unless I didn't write the other ones down, which would make me upset. But um, that question is only read physical books or ebooks, and I do enjoy an ebook because it is, um, you know, if you're going on a trip, I would rather take my iPad than take like five physical books because I've done that before and that is not fun to carry that around. And then what if like the page is ruined or no, but um, but I do love holding physical books. Plus, you don't hurt your eyes as much as staring at a tablet for like five hours. So I would rather hold a physical book. Plus, I just I just love them. They're like all here. So that sorry about that. Cause I keep like looking over and I'm like, I love them so much, sorry. But um, yeah, <laughs> so that was the Would You Rather book tag. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. So thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. So thank you and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.